What's good in the whole YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai 71 here bringing us another video. Today I'm bringing us a video on Kashirio Sentai Real Soldier episode 3. And uh, this episode was called Cursed Gaze. And the episode overall was really good. It uh, finally led to a couple of things that uh, have th that uh, people have been waiting for. First of all, it led to Kashirio Three Nights uh, having its first appearance in the show. And also it led to uh, us having all five real soldiers appear together in one episode. Um, not necessarily on the same team, but they actually got to meet each other. So that's good. Uh, next episode should introduce the uh real soul greens mecha which is tiger lance that will finally be something that he'll get and we'll actually get to see next episode um the combination with kashirio uh making the fortnite combination but we'll get to that so let me get started with this episode um episode three as i said before is called cursed gaze the episode begins with us seeing that the uh, that we have Yui who wants to upload a video from the real soldiers battling against the Minasaur from the previous episode. And what happens is, is that, you know, she's all excited and she's bubbly and she acts like herself. And what happens is, is that at the same time we end up seeing that the real soldiers end up heading into a cave which Tiramigo leads them to. And this cave supposedly is where the other Dino Knights or the Dino Knights that are, uh, you know, Trican and Ankylozo um, are supposed to be based in this cave and so what happens is is that Tiramigo tries to lead them there and when he gets to the cave you know he can't go in because he's super big so what happens is is that uh, Ko ends up using the um, he ends up using a shrink uh, real soul to make it so that he can be smaller and um, you know be closer in scale with the real soldiers maybe a little taller overall that's what he looked like but once they got into the cave he then turned big again and he was there with Enclozo and Tr Trican. Uh, Enclozo uh, seems friendly and again each of them do have personalities that is something to note they don't talk that's something as well they don't talk but the real soldiers can understand them so it's very similar to how Ga Gal Ranger worked in a way where the Gal Rangers were able to understand the uh, uh, the animal spirits but the, the animal sp spirits could not actually talk um, you know it's not like Abba Ranger it's not like Goanger where the actual um, animals that they're connected to actually communicate um, and it's not Go Busters obviously you know in that sense with the buddy roids but uh, you get my point it, it's it's more so that they can feel it and understand it inside them so it's a little di different uh, mindset there now as far as things go um, we see that like in clothes was fine, but uh, when it comes to Melt talking to Trican, um, he basically says like, you know, so you're one of the Dionites and basically Trican looks away from him and doesn't really res like feel comfortable with Melt, mainly because he doesn't feel like Tiramigo explains this to Ko and Ko tells this to um, Melt that basically, you know, he wants to be treated equally and what happens is that Melt says, but the villagers ended up, uh, you know, helping and keeping you around and, and made you who you are and everything like that. And he's like, still, it doesn't matter. I should be treated the same way. Like, he doesn't want to be treated as being unequal. He wants to be treated with respect as though they are on the same terms and they are no different from a person, um, whether they be the ones that made them or not. They want to be seen as equals. And that's what Trican really is all about. You know, he wants to be seen as someone that, you know, is a support, but isn't seen as less than or seen as like just a, just a, a resource or something like that. You know what I mean? More of a friend, more of someone that's respectful. So that's something to note. and. We learned this throughout the episode that that's the case. Um, and at first, Mo doesn't really realize that. You know, he just sort of is hearing things, but he doesn't actually come to the conclusion of what he needs to do till later in the episode. But then what happens is that we end up seeing that there, um, that uh, droid, the droiden summon a new uh, Minasaur. This Minasaur, which I don't remember the name right now, but it's actually based off of a monster from Dynaman. Uh, Dynaman much older season obviously but uh they actually repurposed the costume from dynaman to make it i'm actually gonna double check what the name of the monster is uh it was the right the medusa minister which makes a lot of sense just 
based on its functionality. Again, a lot of these are based off of mythological beings, I've noticed, because like last episode was Unicorn, this episode was Medusa, and next episode is supposed, supposed to be a Kraken. So again, you're going for things that are more based off of mythology and urban legends and stuff like that. Um, so that's kind of, well, not urban legends, but more so mythology and, you know, old stories and tales of the past. So that's kind of interesting to note. Um, but yeah, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, um, and as far as things go in general, again, obviously Medusa means that it functions like Medusa would, where if you look at her, you'll turn to stone. And so the real soldiers transform, they end up fighting against uh, her and she manages to turn Ko to stone. Which, again, we've had other monsters that have done similar things in the past with turning characters to stone that have been Medusa-like characters. This one even has, like, the snake. The snake's all around her face and everything like that, which is interesting. But um, what we do end up seeing as well is that uh, eventually they're in a pretty bad situation. They're not the strongest uh, in this battle. And they try to fight without looking at her, but it's not working very well. Eventually what happens is, is that we end up seeing Real Soul Black uses the Shining uh, Real Soul, which is a Real Soul that leads to a massive beam of light bursting out and acting as a diversion tactic to kind of sidetrack uh, the Medusa um, the Medusa Minosaur, so that actually works. And we actually get to see as well that Real Soul Green's there as well. The two of them end up fighting, they use a number of different souls. They use the Solid Soul, the Speed Soul, and a couple other ones. Um, Solid Soul is for like strength and ability to like take hits, which they use against uh, a number of the uh, of the Drun soldiers because uh, the Drun soldiers appear once these guys uh, show up and what happens is, is that they're about to like try to take out her but what happens is is that um, suddenly we actually end up seeing that uh, Kuron actually steps in the way and basically tries to make them retreat um, you know tries to make the Medusa uh, Minnesota retreat and also just in general the drone soldiers retreat as well but they wonder what caused it and at the same time like everyone does end up detransforming even though initially melt and us uh, and asana detransform because they actually get like beaten in a battle but uh you know the other two don't and what happens is, is that eventually they end up finding that Yui is on the ground and she's knocked out and we see that there's like this spirit energy coming out of her which represents the Medusa Minosaur because as we know from the previous episode the Minosaurs are born from different emotions and situations having to do with people so Minosaurs form from people's emotions and so they're using her emotions to create it and again the monster wants them to look at her uh, the monster wants them to, uh, the monster wants um the real soldiers to look at her so that's something to know um now what does end up happening is is that when they return back to um you know the base or whatever that they're in uh we end up seeing that first of all uh what do you call it um we end up seeing that real soul black uses the miss real soul to actually turn Ko back to normal where he's not a stone anymore and then he detransforms and he ends up meeting them finally. We then finally get to find out what their names are which again is very important. Um, their names just so you know are uh, Toa and, Bonba, and Bamba. Uh, Toa is real soul green. Bamba is real soul black. So that's something to note and apparently they're brothers. Now again we don't know any of their last names so we don't know uh, you know the relationship as far as last names go but we know in general that they're supposed to be brothers are the only brothers that we know of so far um and we have no idea if there was ever a master black and a master green they could have just trained on their own but we know for sure that they seem to be stronger and tougher than real soul red blue or pink right now uh you know they don't have the same strength or skill level and that makes a lot of sense because they had a lot more time to train uh and we got to see that already with the super sentai strongest battle where they were already using their abilities and again this show is supposed to, supposed to take place 
before what was supposed to take place after the Super Sentai Strongest Battle. So that's something to note, of course, that clearly th they have more knowledge and experience. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that the others won't get stronger, as we know. So what we do end up seeing is, is that we see that they're wondering what they can do and they find and what happens is that bomba is about to use his real soul ken to actually try to destroy yui and the reason why he wants to do that is because he knows that the reason why the minosaur's form is because of her and the thing well why that minosaur form was because of her and the thing is is that it will slowly take her energy and eventually become bigger and bigger and it will grow to full size once it takes enough of her life force and so what happens is is that he realizes that if they destroy her then the minosaur will be destroyed as well and the thing is is that ko and the others don't want bamba to do that even though uh, in their mind like toa and uh bamba think you know if we get rid of one life then we'll save thousands of people so it's like it's saving one for a ton of people uh you know to them, it's seen as it's worth it because, you know, the the math seems to show that it's more worthwhile to, to get rid of one person than to say that versus saving hundreds of people that could potentially be destroyed by um, a Minosaur. And the thing is, is that what this tells me right away is where this story could probably go, which is that. You know, eventually they're going to become a full team of five, and most likely red, green, red, blue, and um, pink will likely lead to black and green learning to um, care about individuals and not go for the more rash and and harsh method of solving a problem, such as destroying someone. You know, instead of finding a way to help them without necessarily having to get rid of them you know what i mean because right now that's their mindset their mindset is get rid of one so that they can save a ton which is not a bad way of thinking but it's not the most beneficial way if there's a way to save everyone why not do it that's the way that the others are thinking so what we do end up seeing is is that all that's being discussed and you know yui does end up hearing about this and everything like that and then we see that yui ends up meeting with her father and uh, they just have like a discussion about uh, fossils and everything like that and about how, you know, he was always seen as the oddball by his friends and, you know, he just didn't have the greatest respect from the community of other, uh, other uh, paleontologists that were um, based in his world. And the thing was is that he really, is that Yui really loves her father, but at the same time, um, you know, she just doesn't feel like she's doing a lot, she's worth it as much and she's not as big of a deal as everyone else she feels like she's pretty small you know she she does this uh, vlogging stuff but she doesn't feel like she's all that important honestly so what happens is, is that eventually she ends up going to the location of a cave where she used to collect fossils with her father when she was a little kid and she was actually going to attempt to kill herself by jumping off of a cliff that a, a cliff that led to it which i wasn't sure if that was what they were going with but like yeah that's what they were basically going for was that she was going to try to end her own life in order to save everyone else's but what happens is, is that asana speaks to her father and her father tells her to go to this place because that's where she'll likely be and when she goes there she basically comforts yui telling her that like we are we're your friends we care about you we understand that you like basically the reason why she wanted to do this is because she feels like she's less than and she's not worth anything because of the fact that like all of them are doing so much and they're and they have accomplished so much and they put all their energy and uh, interest into it and all their strength and everything and yet for her she's she's not really involved the same way she feels like she's less than she's not as a big of a deal and she feels like she's not so important and in all honesty it, it, you know it upsets her which is understood and so what happens is is that at this point um, we end up seeing that you know, Asuna comforts her, and when she does this, she ends up um, releasing from the uh, from the Minosaur. And the Minosaur doesn't get destroyed necessarily, but it leads to relief where she can be separate from the Minosaur without it directly impacting her. Uh, that's something to note. So it's not going to like 
completely destroy her or anything like that. She's just damaged, and she eventually is brought back to uh, the base. We don't see that part, but we know it happens. I would imagine that one of them probably went to get her at some point, but they don't actually show it. Um, but what, what we do end up seeing is is that uh, Melt and and Asuna are watching as eventually the uh, eventually Ko summons uh, Tiramigo, and then he ends up turning it into um, Kish uh, Kishirio. And he ends up going up against the Medusa, um, the Medusa uh, Minosaur. And when he ends up going up against the Minosaur, still has problems with looking because of the fact that Medusa still has her abilities. And she manages to use them on a lot of people in the area, but that doesn't destroy them. It just turns into stone temporarily. But what happens is that Ko ends up going into battle, and eventually, you know, things aren't looking so good. So the others decide to summon um, their uh, Dino Knights, and so we end up seeing that happen. Asuna does it with no issue, but Melt feels nervous because he doesn't feel that Triken will trust him. But Asuna uh, does it for him, and then Triken summon. And what happens is that the two of them end up fighting against Medusa. They are struggling, but what happens is that Melt says, "I am, a, I'm a person, and I am no different from anyone else. And I want to work with you, and I, and I trust you, and I, 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 I hope we can work together." And basically, this whole entire speech that he has uh, changes Triken's mindset because he realizes that like he doesn't consider him any better or any different from anyone else, and he is willing to work with him as an ally rather than as a resource or a tool um and you know there's a sense of respect so what happens is is that at that point you know triken tries even harder he ends up actually uh creating a huge like section cuts out a huge section of of a road and then what happens is that Enclozo uses um her hammer to smash the road and break it into a ton of pieces that ends up hitting or going towards um I'm trying to remember now. I believe it ends up going towards the Minosaur. Then, then the Minosaur ends up launching it back at them. And then they end up using um, the float real soul. And the float real soul ends up having leading to uh, Asuna using her real soul can to slash it and everything like that. And then we end up seeing uh, that she slashes it and shoots it towards um, the Medusa... Uh, Minosaur, and then what happens is is that Melt ends up using the reverse real soul to revert it back to its former state as being a completely formed road, and that lands on the Medusa um, Minosaur so that it will actually like block her sight. And what this leads to is is that the uh, real soldiers end up. Um, combining together to have their mechas form form um, um, Kishirio Three Knights, which we finally get to see in battle, um, which leads to some nice combat with that. Um, we do end up seeing as well that Bamba and Toa initially try to take out um, Yui, but when they actually see Triken and uh, Enclozo summon, they stop in their tracks and they decide against it. Um, and we don't know if it's just because they saw it or what, but we know that that was the that kind of stopped them. And what does end up happening is is that after they defeat the uh, Minosaur, what happens is that um, they are grateful. They return back to the base. We see that Bamba and Toa are not with them at that point. But what we do end up seeing is that Yui is happy that she's back home that she's with her father and that now she feels like she has friends that actually do care about her so very happy ending we do also end up seeing that bamba and toa now want to get their dionites because since they saw um you know melt and asanas they now need to look for their own and we get to see a, a short small clip of their um what do you call it um, their Dionites, which are Tiger Lance and Minedal, which again, Tiger Lance will be introduced next episode, and we'll get to see the combination with Tiger Lance next episode. Um, Minedal, 
I believe is supposed to be introduced in episode five, I'm guessing. And then either by episode six or episode seven, I believe it is that we'll finally get to see the five nights combination, which will have all five nights combined into one big mecha, um, which it basically still keeps Tiramigo as the main centerpiece of the mecha and then just adds the extensions on. I've already seen images of it already, so just keep that in mind. It's not like uh, it makes it super tall or goes crazy yet. Like, we're still, there's still more that has to be introduced. And again, once um, Real Soul Gold gets introduced, that will be when things will start getting way more crazy with combinations but let's first get to that point so just to understand that now uh, otherwise that's about it for me guys please remember to like comment subscribe tell me what you guys think um the preview as i said before will uh, uh the preview does end up showing the combination for real soul green with the other three knights and it also shows tiger lance on its own and real soul green is featured a lot like Really, it's going to be focused on Real Soul Green a ton next episode, so just keep that in mind. And Real Soul Green does have the most attitude and sass, it seems, while Bomba is a little bit more quiet but tough. So we'll definitely see where things go with that. I'm looking forward to seeing where the show uh, ends up going, and I am liking it a lot so far. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, guys, I'm Crazy Samurai 21, and goodbye, guys.